y'all? It's your girl Lex P. And it's your girl Dre Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks sober thoughts. What's up, girl? Hey, girl. You look very nice. Thanks, girl. You're glowing. He's the tea. <laughs> it's the tea for me, bitch. Because thank you. One thing you're going to do is cut our esophagus off. Because you're looking good. You're looking blessed. Thanks, girl. Them checks is clearing, hun. <laughs> and I can see it. <laughs> I know you see it. I'm about to just start doing it for no reason. What? <laughs> for it. no reason. Because uh, they Cause look fabulous. Talk your shit. Thanks, girl. So, yeah, so, because I already know you about to say, girl, what you was doing this week? Yeah, talk your shit. Get so, to them. Yeah, I went to Columbia and I got my teeth done. Mm. This past week, mm. um, I got porcelain veneers. They 100% <laughs> porcelain. Too. Yeah, stop playing with her. Not the composite, not the resin, because we don't play like that. Yeah. So, yeah, you know. They I look mean, so good. Thank you. They look um, really so good. So, my goal was, and I told my dentist that I wanted, because I really liked my teeth before mm. um, I got my teeth done or whatever. My main reason for wanting to get my teeth done was just because I feel like no matter how much I whiten them, they still weren't as white as, as I wanted them to be. And mm-hmm. they wouldn't say, and even if you would accomplish, you know, the, the shade that you wanted, right. it's not going to stay like that. Like, right. you have to go get it in. Getting your teeth whitened, I don't know if it's like this for everybody, but it's very uncomfortable for me. My it's, gums are sensitive. really sensitive. Yeah. So, yeah, so I was just over that shit. Then I used to have braces back in the day because I had braces and I used to have, like, a little gap. Every time I would stop wearing my retainer for a certain period of time, my gap would come back. Mm. So, yeah. So, that's mainly the reason why I decided I wanted veneers. But, like I said, I liked my teeth originally. So, I told my dentist that I wanted them to look as close to my real teeth as possible. And so, he didn't make them that much bigger. Like, they're like a... They're slightly bigger. But that's because he elongated my gums. Like, he contoured my gums. So, he Mm -hmm. added the length at the gum. Instead of adding it at the bottom. Because if he would have added it at the bottom, then my teeth would touch my lip when I saw No smiled. side tooth missing. No. <laughs> never had that. We don't play it's with that. It's all there. It's all there. Not you said. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. <laughs> Zoom in, Javier. <laughs> I'm fucking weak. <laughs> I am weak. I but know, yeah, that's so, right. They look really good. So it was a really great investment. I'm very happy with my results. Um, I'm going to tag my doctor. I'm going to post a reel about it. Well, I can just say his name on the show. His name is Dr. D. He's at Top Smiles in Medellin, Colombia. Medellin. Columbia, yeah. Mm. And everything was just dope as fuck. Like, my hotel I stayed in was super nice. Mm-hmm. I'm actually going to post, like, a little mini blog for all of the Patreon listeners. So, if you're a Patreon listener or if you're not one and you just want to be nosy and get the tea, join the Patreon because ooh, I'm going to drop ooh. all the deets on Patreon. They look so good. I'm not a veneer, a veneer person. person. I don't like veneers. <laughs> I'm more of, like... Getting things done that look natural, and they look so good and so natural. Thank you. And I love it. Thank ten you. out of ten. I already know because when I got when I first got them done, I felt like they looked good. But I was like, if I call Lex and I call my mama and they don't have a reaction that I feel like they should have, I'm gonna know they don't look good. Yeah, they look fire. Because like, you and my mom, y'all are like the two people in my life who I feel like gonna always like keep even if it hurt my it. feelings. Yeah. Y'all gonna tell me the truth. Like my mama would have been like. Baby, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they and you would have been like friends. I would have been like friends. They don't look, but they look absolutely amazing. Like, they look good. Thank you, they friend. Look good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm really happy. So, yeah, like I said, I'm going to post the real soon and I'm going to post um, a little Patreon episode about it. So, yeah, that's what I did this week. What you do, friend? Oh, so I took a little quick trip to Houston. Um, we're about to be really busy coming up. So I just yeah. wanted to go see my friends and my family. I got to see my man, my man, my man. I was about to say, I know you're not going to mention your friends and your family and not mention your man. Uh, I just, you know, things are just really good right now. That's um, good. Honestly, all jokes aside, y'all know I'm a my man, my man. But besides that, I feel like I've been growing so much as a person. Like, I really... I know this is such, like, a corny thing to say because I feel like a lot of people say this, but I really love the person I'm becoming. Um, I've taken time out to... to, I I, I make a schedule for myself every day, and I never thought I would be that person, but I told y'all 
transferring from having a job. I've always had a job my entire life to now working for myself. I spent a lot of time, mm -hmm. like, being bored, not knowing to do with my time, like, just being confused about a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were telling me that aren't my friends and family that are entrepreneurs. They were like, you have to make yourself a schedule. You have to give yourself a reason to wake up in the morning, even when you don't have work to do. Right. So I have made myself a schedule. Like, I'm that girl. Like, I wake up, I make myself breakfast, I... Um, do my skincare routine, I meditate, mm -hmm. I spend X amount of time cleaning. Like, I'm literally that person now. I run errands doing absolutely nothing, but it's yeah. a part of my day. Like, I really like what the life I'm curating for myself. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just growing a lot. I'm trying to... I am not a person... I do not enjoy cooking. I don't like it, but... I'm trying to be better at budgeting myself as well. Mm -hmm. So I have started, like, you know, little baby steps to, like, cook me little things here and there and get in the habit of, like, mm -hmm. you know, cooking a little bit more. Not for no niggas, for myself. For myself. Just because, you know, it's a little extreme as, as much I was, like, eating out Well, you so know, much. I had started doing, like, meal prep. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the past, I think, what, maybe three weeks, I was right. doing meal prep. Keto meal prep. So mm -hmm. I found like a meal prep girl out here in Atlanta who does meal prep for a lot of different people. And she was doing keto meal prep for me. And I lost like four pounds. Mm. But I also feel like I saved so much money. Right, right. Because I was only paying like $200 a week for the meal prep. I spend way more than $200 a week on food. Like going out way to eat and stuff. So yeah, so I feel like I saved a lot of money. I lost four pounds. And then I lost another <laughs> Three pounds while I was in Columbia, cause I and we gonna talk, you gonna talk about that on Patreon. We ain't gonna yeah, cause yeah. I, well, I'm just saying cause I wasn't <laughs> eating like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but yeah, I'm about to be a skinny legend. It's over. Yeah, so I just so love right. the person I'm becoming. I feel like I'm just um I don't know like 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 Ronnie said last week. I'm vibrating higher. Mm -hmm. And I just really, I like the schedule that I'm giving myself. I just feel like I'm growing as a person. I really love it. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I went to Houston. I got to see my nephews. I have the greatest nephews in the world. So it, it actually kind of went viral on Twitter a couple weeks ago. My nephew had actually wrote about me mm -hmm. to his teacher. Like, mm -hmm. they had to do an assignment over any one of their family members, and he chose me. Mm -hmm. And he was like, my aunt is so sweet. She's so nice. She plays board games with me. He was like, and she wears fancy clothes. I said, you better tell him auntie put that shit on. Period. 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 So, shout out to Jax. I love my yes. little nephew. He means everything to me. And Lil Peanut, too. But, um, but yeah, that's all I've really been up to. I've really been chilling, just getting ready. We have, a, like, a busy schedule coming up. Uh, the end of this month is going to be so crazy for us. But it's a blessing. I'm excited. It is. And my birthday coming up, period. Oh. By the time this air, your birthday would have passed. Thank Thanks. God. Thank Wait, fucking I hope God. You're ready to get my gift. I hope you're gonna love the vanilla cake and the balloons I'm about to get you. I'm gonna <laughs> throw this shit at you. Why would you don't see? This is why I know you're ungrateful. Like if I get you a vanilla cake with your picture on it, some why balloons. Why put my picture on it? Cause I don't you like love cakes. yourself. I don't like cakes that have them pictures on it because that shit tastes funny. <laughs> <laughs> you taste funny. The little paper part tastes funny. Well, you gotta cut around the edges. You know how people, black people, be like, "Don't cut that part." It ain't even that I'm. Don't cut that. Part. It's not even that I'm ungrateful. But from you, you're not getting me a cake. Why? Because you're not. Tell me why. Why would you give me a cake? Because you like cake. I don't like cake. When have you ever seen me eat cake? For your birthday, one time. Exactly. One time. Because I don't even eat sweet. So why would you give me a cake? Okay, you want some barbecue? You want some beans? <laughs> you want some beans? Now, I can make a mean bean, huh? You're not trying to make me a bean pie. You want a bean pie for your birthday? Oh, my God. Uh, and I'll put, like, a D, make it in the shape of a D. What kind of beans you want? Be specific. Girl, I already know what I'm sending you. I already know what I want. Oh, and, brother. yes, I don't want no motherfucking cake from you because you can afford to give me more than you a cake. You don't know what I can yes, afford. I, can. I do know. I got $3. Yes, I do. You can. And I expect my gift. <laughs> On time. Oh, it's it's stripping this bitch. But you know what? This is why I... Only because, y'all, don't be letting Lex fool y'all. Because when her birthday come around, she gonna want to give too. And if I got her just a fucking cake, she would be mad. Well, she would be... Yes, she, okay. I asked for a booty and cake last year. That's all I asked for. And you showed up with some Louis Vuitton shades. Which I love. Exactly. Because you wear them all the time. And do 
It'd be dark as fuck outside <laughs> raining. I'd be like, uh-huh, the player in the building. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Louis for me. Exactly. Um, it's the dawn. But I will say, I love the fact that your birthday is before mine. And we're working so hard and progressing so much. So the budget for Girl, her birthday. Girl, no, because this is how it go. No. <laughs> the budget will increase. Now, let me birthday. tell you how we go. <laughs> what? Absolutely not. That's not how it goes. Yes, it is. I can ask you for whatever I want by the no, time my birthday. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. I'm going to get you something in the same price No, range. why? It doesn't matter. I thought, next it was, year, I thought it was the thought. And then next year. No, it's not. Well, if it's the thought that counts, then you shouldn't care how much I'm spending. You just set yourself I'm, up. I'm thinking I want a gift that costs about two k <laughs> it's given that you need to hit up your man. <laughs> my man, my man. Right, I'm about to send you a gift that costs All two right. k. <laughs> You're right. Let's keep it low. Sweet. No, my gift costs one k though. One k. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, when I load my k. <laughs> I hate it here, bro. Let me let me take a sip of it. Yeah, <laughs> don't talk back. Hey, Ooh. I love you. Just like I'm a little my gift. <laughs> All right, um, <laughs> let's get into these motherfucking topics. Go ahead, Grum. Okay, so for the first topic, I wanted to talk about this because I actually saw this on Instagram. Mm -hmm. It said, if your spouse was unemployed, would you step down from your position at your company if you had a really successful company? Would you step down from your position and let your spouse run the company, like become the CEO of mm -hmm. the company? Mm -hmm. I thought that shit was crazy as fuck because boy, hell no. Nah. Boy, boy, boy. Why boy, would I, no way, boy. Like if I worked hard to get to where I'm at and I worked hard, I hate, I don't know what's okay. going on. But yeah, if I worked hard, to get to where I'm at, why would I allow you to step into my position and take over the company? Because if you unemployed, how I need to hire it's, you. It's giving, it's giving you can't keep a job. So how you know how to run a company? Exactly. I don't think so. I don't like that. And I just feel like, why are we doing that? Right. Why do we as women have to step down to a man because yeah, he doesn't feel because he's the man and he doesn't feel like right now he's in control of the situation? Like I would absolutely not do that shit. If you unemployed, if anything, if I really fuck with you like that, I'm hiring. If you're you. unemployed, no, I would help you start a business. That's all. If you want to start a business, let's take whatever you know passive income I have and we can invest in another business and starting another business. But taking over what I'm doing and what I got, yeah, this my shit. Absolutely not. Right. This is mine right. over here. And I don't even want to take it a step further mm -hmm. because sometimes this does happen as what? far as even letting your spouse like manage your career or mm -hmm. like be like the person that other people answer to. Because a lot of people do do this. Mm -hmm. A lot of successful people do this. A lot of people that maybe necessarily aren't successful. I'm not trying to be funny. I just feel like eventually when I have a, um, a partner, do I want to start a business with him and have something? Yes. But I want it to be something that we start together from mm -hmm. the ground up that we both have 50-50 in. Mm -hmm. I'm not letting no nigga come in here and be like doing my booking and be like coming in here and telling... Javier and everybody, oh, run it. No, you don't. This is poor minds. This is my shit. Right. I started this shit. I got it over here. Right. If we want to start something, let's start something. I don't need you to manage my career. And I feel like there's lines that need to be drawn in relationships. I'm not saying for everybody. This is what will work for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to draw the line. I don't want my spouse managing me in any type of way because you know what? When I come home, I don't want to talk about touring or I don't want to talk about uh, brand deals. I want to talk about what are we about to eat for dinner? How was your day? How are you feeling? Are you good? Like, let's cheer. Let's open some wine and get drunk and listen to music and have a good time. Chill by the pool. Go take a bath together. Like, that's the type of vibes I'm trying to be home when I get... I love you taking the bath. You Mommy. <laughs> you know what? My... You really like taking baths with niggas? I love taking baths. I bath. don't like the fact that people call it, like, taking a bath with a nigga. Because you're really not taking a bath. No, you're, you're just, just sitting, sitting in the, the water. Yeah, naked. Because if y'all bathe, then that water going to be dirty as fuck. Who dirty as fuck? That water be yeah. twirl. If y'all really bathe, then it's going to be a ring around the tub. Not <laughs> ring around the rosy. <laughs> no, taking a bath with a nigga do be funny because they dig me floating to the top. <laughs> <laughs> he do that dick be rising. He be like dee 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 dee. Mm -hmm. I be like it's getting warm. It's getting too loud. <laughs> But no, for real though, like, yeah, you really don't be bathing. Like, y'all really don't be in there watching, no, yeah, watching each other yeah. bath and shit. Honestly, usually when I take a bath with I a guy. Like when, I, when I take a bath 
after I get out the bathtub, I have to take a shower. Well, see, this is what I do when I take a when I'm about to take a bath mm-hmm. with nigga. I usually shower before. Oh. And get all the because honestly, when you get in the bath with it, I'm not a dirty person. So I mean, bitch, everybody is composed of that, dirt. That, We're made of dirt. That's so what you I'm gonna saying. have a little dirt. In that's the tub, what I'm saying. Okay. So when you get in the tub, all your lotion, your oils, everything that's on your body, that's what creates the ring. So I like to get in the shower beforehand and wash all that shit off, then get in the tub. It's still gonna have a little ring. I mean, one time, bitch, the ring was red because my hair was red, Ooh. bitch. And I was so embarrassed. I said, I oh thought my you God. was about to say something else. No, I said, oh my god. Oh my god. But no, but that's the type of stuff I like to do. Like, if I've been working all day mm-hmm. or doing, I don't want to come home and talk about more business. Right. Don't get me wrong. We all want to be successful. We all want to win. We all want to mm-hmm. have a good time. But where is the line drawn to where we can unwind? Mm-hmm. Everybody's always like, no sleep, work, grind. It's like, no, I don't want to do that when I come home with my partner. Yeah. I would never want my partner to manage me neither because I agree. Yeah. I just feel like he needs to keep business, business, and personal, right. personal. And I feel like, but that's what a good, I feel like if I can do this with you, we started this from nothing and we built it up so we have a business relationship and we have a friendship. Mm-hmm. And we're doing amazing. I think we are. No, yeah, we are. As far but, as balancing. Yeah, for sure. You looked unsure. <laughs> you said, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you know me. My mind always be in like a thousand places at once. But no, we are doing an amazing job. Um, I just don't. I feel like this one one relationship where I have to mix business and personal is enough. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah, one is enough. So like, you wouldn't go to business with your spouse? Like if y'all both just started something from the ground up? Maybe if we started something from the ground up together, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, But, like, I'm talking about letting him come into my life and managing my career currently. Yeah, no, no, I'm not no. with that. I'm not with no. that. No, I feel like I already have managers. Mm-hmm. I already have people that I work with right. that are doing an amazing job, by the way. Shout out to them. Mm-hmm. Bless you. Amen, hey, brother. I'm All right. So... <laughs> so, I already have managers. Like, I don't feel like I would... I don't need my man to come into my life to manage me. Come into my life to be my man. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and like I said, I'm not stepping on nobody's toes, but a lot of times that's what, even men that are like the breadwinners, they want the woman to come in and like assist them and help grow their company. But it's like, why don't you hire Why was your lover and your secretary? <laughs> working every day of the week. Because, bitch, that was your fault. Because why? Why are you working every two day jobs? of the week? Why you had two jobs? She, said, she really had three because she, she was, was a mom, too. She said, was at the job when no one else was there. <laughs> bitch, I'm gone when they gone. <laughs> exactly. We all clocking up together. <laughs> Boy, fuck you. <laughs> it's my lunch break, oh. <laughs> Why are you always? And when I used to have a corporate job, I used to take long lunch breaks. So imagine if that was my so imagine if my nigga was the CEO. I'd you? be like, I'm taking a two hour lunch. Dre would go on lunch break and what'd you go get uh the what's the thing called? What? The uh cool school. <laughs> <laughs> I really did do that one time on my lunch break. I went and got cool school. Like, but what I'm saying is I feel like if you feel like I can add something to your company, then give me, like, an actual title. Mm-hmm. You know, the COO. Like, I want to really add on there. But then you really gonna have to be there, though. You gonna have to be there when no one else was there. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> like he, like she there. said in the phone. But she was, say, she said your lover and your secretary. <laughs> That's your secretary. She said lover and your secretary. <laughs> Girl, bitch, not you, not even. you down bad, bitch. You down bad. I'm sorry. Bitch, you down bad. That's why she burnt that G-Wagon. She was mad. I mean, that wasn't a G-Wagon. That was a station wagon. <laughs> and that's another thing. Get out. Not your nigga drive a station wagon and you working after, t- after hours, bitch. He ain't even a boss. <laughs> he couldn't even get the G-Wagon. He had the, the station, station wagon. wagon. Oh, Lord. <laughs> So why was you even working overtime? You put, you put in too much work. You put in too much work. That's why I said for me, no, I'm not doing that. I want an official title that's high up. Yeah. Where I'm doing something important. So even if I am staying after, it's for me. Like, I'm making sure I'm getting paid. And so you would, nothing, though. This, if I'm like the COO, absolutely. So if you met a man, he already had a business, and then he made you the COO, you will work. Yes. If I'm high up, and I'm like, damn, they're neck and neck with you, and I'm running things, and I'm, mm-hmm. and I'm in your ear personally, and we're literally mm-hmm. working together, because the COO and the CEO, we got to we gotta be here. Right. I'm not about to be no lower level. I'm not taking nothing lower than that. You right. know what I'm saying? 
But I, that, that's what I'm saying. A lot of men, they like to bring in their women on the job, on what they already have going on to help boost it up, which is right. fine. But get an official title. Get on actual payroll. Stop letting, oh, I'm helping with his company. Now, when y'all divorce or when y'all break up, he don't owe you nothing because nothing is on paper. Mm -hmm. Everything, all the ideas and everything you've been giving him is behind closed doors. So if I do anything with somebody financially, business-wise, everything's going to be on paper. Mm -hmm. Everything. Look, I'm watching Love and Marriage right now, Huntsville. With Mel and Martel and baby, it's a lot going on. Like I mean, they're having a problem splitting up the business. I mean, even like for example, like even with me and you, and I know this is not something that we really get into a lot on the show, but like this is a very much legal business. Very legal. So it's like, of course, we never planned on not being friends no more. But that'll never happen. I mean, first of all, never. Ever. Let these hoes know. Period. Ever. Ever. But if something did happen, everything is illegal between me and Lex. Right. So, like, it's not no old trying to figure out who does this, who does that, what task is delegated to this person, how much does this person make, how much does that person make. Everything is documented. Everything. And I feel like anytime you go into business with somebody that you're friends with or somebody that you're in a relationship with, yeah, you might love that person and you fuck with that person, but you still need to make that shit legal. Everything and legit. needs to be... Uh, I love this girl to death and I trust her with my life. Yeah. But everything is still in black and white. Yeah. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? So I think it needs to be the same way with your partner. And they can't take it personal neither because that's always a red flag too. Like if you fucking with somebody or you doing business with them and then y'all doing everything under the table at first and you want to make it legal and they're like, well, I don't know why we need to... Nope. Honestly, I think it's so weird when people make a... I watch 90 Day Fiance, mm -hmm. too, like I was talking with Jilly. Yeah. I think it's weird when people don't want to sign prenups. I think that's weird. So when you get married and say you meet a man yes. and he, you make way more money than him, you would ask him to sign a prenup? Yes. And if he I, don't sign it, you wouldn't marry him? No, because it, I don't, if he makes more money or I make more money, we're going to have an agreement of what could happen if we split up. I'm not saying that you don't get anything. I'm not saying that I don't get anything. But we need to understand if we break up, whether it's five years, 10 years, 30, 50 years from now, I need to know what I expect to give you and vice versa. No, Because shit happens. I agree. I just feel like prenups should be on a case-by-case -case basis. Like, y'all need to figure out what works for y'all. Exactly. Like, a lot of the time, I think when people think of prenups, they don't want to sign them because they feel like, oh. That means you get nothing. Yeah, it means you get and nothing. And that's not the case. But you can really negotiate a prenup. Like, yeah. if that nigga really want to marry you, bitch, negotiate that shit. Negotiate. Negotiate. <laughs> I mean, them teeth is saying everything clear. <laughs> <laughs> negotiate. <laughs> but no, the I, line, bitch. <laughs> but but yeah, like I feel like you can negotiate that shit right. with your with your man. If he really wants to marry you, he should be open to that and he would be cool with that. I said I would sign a prenup. I would absolutely sign one. But it would have to be like percentage based. I agree. I agree a hundred percent. Like not no, oh, if we get a divorce, you get two million dollars. No, yeah. No, because you might be worth a I think I said this before on another show. You might be worth a certain amount of money right now and then 10 years from now, 20 years from now, we get a divorce. You might be worth mate way more than that. And right. you still trying to give me two mil? Uh-uh. Especially if I helped you get on your feet. Right. And build your business. Help you get on your feet. Yeah. Mm, 11 years. <laughs> 11 years, Woo! bitch, I sacrificed. And I still get two million exactly. and now you worth 200 million? And that's what I'm saying. Hell no. But not only that, to protect myself. Because guess what? If I get married tomorrow, guess how like much that. the percentage you get in the poor minds? Zero, and I need it in black and white, baby. I need it in black and white. Cause so no matter nothing. what, y'all nigga can never get a Zero percentage of poor percent minds. Of poor minds. You're getting nothing of poor minds. Now, if the business that we started after that, that, if you want to give me little, if you want to give me some tea and things that you think I can do for my show, cool. If there's little things that you have going Why on, Why would you marry your... a nigga that's giving you tea? Not tea. I mean, like, I'm not literally tea, I don't bitch. Like it. I don't like it. Well. I, I like, like a little tea. Speaking it's of tea, questionable. hold on. Before after we finish this, I got a story to tell. Real okay. Quick. But anyways, no, not tea. Literally, I mean, like if you feel like, oh, I got somebody I, that I fuck with, like he put on you show. on game, like he can put me on a, yeah. a guest on the show, like little things like that. That's cool because I'll do the same for you. This is stuff between us. But as far as a percentage, mm -hmm. and you really bringing something in, no. Because if I marry somebody and I'm helping you, like behind the scenes. And doing little stuff that doesn't take a lot out mm -hmm. of me to connect you with people, this and that. I'm not going to ask for a percentage of that. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I do believe that we should go by percentages and, you know, whatever business that we start. But that needs to be it. Right. 
What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And we are here to tell y'all about BetterHelp.com. I know we have gone through a lot of things together, individually, that we were just struggling through. And BetterHelp.com definitely helped us get through those hard times. Yes, absolutely. One of the great things that I love about BetterHelp is that you can literally have your counseling sessions from the comfort of your own home. And even if they match you with a therapist and you don't like the therapist, mm-hmm. they make it super easy for you to change them mm-hmm. and get get somebody who can relate to you right i am a person who struggles with seasonal depression and i was just like this past christmas like the holidays are really hard for me so i was going through it during the holidays and i went to betterhelp.com and it completely got me through my struggles and i i swear by it so what we have done is partner with them to get y'all a discount so you're gonna go to betterhelp.com that's better h-e-l-p dot com and use code poor minds you're gonna get 10 percent off of your first month absolutely and financial aid is available period now speaking of let me tell y'all a little story real quick and this is why i understood i i am a regular girl let's let that be known i'm very because i'm a very i'm i'm normal i still live i still drive a regular car i still have a regular apartment i just happen to be people just happen to find me funny and entertaining entertaining for some reason yeah, you're regular. But when Drake said, With girl, I gotta watch followers. my back because I'm not just anybody. I had a situation literally last night. Something happened to me and I was shook. So, I never get on Facebook, y'all. I'm glad we 25 minutes in because only the real listeners get to see now. <laughs> not only the real. The real listeners get to see now. So, I had a situation happen last night and I was actually shocked. So, I got on Facebook. I never get on Facebook, right? And I had scrolled back, like, not even scrolled back. I went to, like, the messages request where it was new. Mm -hmm. And I saw a message and somebody was, like, calling me, calling me. And then Mm -hmm. I looked at the message. On Facebook? On Facebook. So you can call people on Facebook You can call people on Facebook messages. The only reason I went on there and checked because somebody that I don't fuck with, a family member that I don't fuck with, I don't know why the person was calling me, was just calling me back to back to back to back to back. So I was trying to get on Facebook to figure out how to turn it off. I ended up deleting the app. Anyways, so I go to this message from this person. I've never seen this person. And they had called me and called me. I'm scrolling down. And I look at a message and they were like, hey, I saw you. And I'm not going to say the name because they actually said the person's government name. They said, I saw you and blank um, booked a flight on my and using my United Miles. Like... And they like it took all the miles from my account. Basically, long story short, this nigga scammed, had like some scamming ass shit going on to take me wherever he wanted to take me. And I was so Hold on, wait, I'm confused. Maybe I'm a little slow. What's going on? The guy, whoever Okay, he's so he this scammed. is a random person that messaged you right, on but Facebook. The, the guy that I was dealing with that took me on a trip, oh, okay. he scammed this a person. Like for you and him. Yes. On this person's account. On that, on that person's Got account. It. Okay, So cool. I guess when it showed up, it showed our names. Okay. So that's how he found me. He, like, probably typed my name in on Facebook. This guy doesn't have a Facebook, so he was like, how did you and such and such? And he said mm-hmm. his government name. I was like, this is so embarrassing. Because you doing all this for this flight to here? Where y'all went? Girl, you, I can't... Mm. Girl, exactly. Oh. Dirty, 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 dirty. Because I know I, that ain't who I think it is. <laughs> First of all, what? let me say That's this crazy. because at the end of the day, if this man would have decided to make a big deal out of this and like at me on Instagram and Twitter and make a bunch of, like a big deal, that would have been embarrassing for me. That's why I say, ladies, everything that glitters ain't fucking gold. A lot of these niggas out here capping, pretending, faking, and acting like they got it, and they really don't. And I'm not saying this man has it or not, but why is you scamming flights, bro? It was very embarrassing. I was very fucking mad. So that's why I say I don't trust these niggas. I don't want you to have nothing to do with my career because everything legit over here, baby. Right. I don't need your hands over here. Right. We got this. We good. Mm-hmm. I was embarrassed. Mm-hmm. Girl, I'm going like to show you the message, girl. I'm going to show you the message. I just would have never expected that from him. Girl, me neither. Because why are you got to him? Exactly. Because my man, my man, my man, now, he don't got, he, baby, he sends me them flights and we be outside. And we have a good time. Mm. 
I love you. I need for you to relax and I love calm down him. because I what's wrong with you? I love him, my man. You know that Tony Braxton song, I love me some him. I'm going to sing that to him next time I go home. I love me some you. <laughs> Another man will never do. Period. Give. No. I love me some him. Ooh. Yeah, that's my shit. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead with the next one. That's a new one. All okay, right. so let us know. Would y'all let y'all spouse manage your career? Or would you work with your spouse? Let us know. I'm really interested. I do, and I will work with my spouse. Like, we could start a business together. together. Okay, I But, agree. like, you coming in on some shit I already yeah. got going on, it ain't happening. Not Absolutely happening. the fuck not. And I'm not going to try to come in on no shit you already got going on. Yeah, I'm not. Because I, I don't want, I don't want to. Yeah. Unless you give me a title. Right. On paper. What's up, y'all? It's your girl XP. And it's your girl Dre and Nicole. And we are here to tell y'all all about InsideTracker.com. Mm -hmm. So if you are like aging, not how you want on the outside, it's because what you putting on the inside. So Inside Tracker analyzes all of that to tell you what you need to do to get healthier. Yes, and the best thing about them is they will even pull up on you. Yes. And take your blood. You'll get a daily action plan with personalized guidance on the right exercise, nutrition, and supplementation for your body. They analyze your whole analyze DNA. everything, your metabolism, your mm -hmm. DNA, everything, and then let you know what's wrong in a 10-page report. Yes. So you can fix it. They break everything down mm -hmm. from why you're stressed, all that good stuff. They tell you what to eat, what exercises you need to be doing. We all want to stay young, so InsideTracker.com is going to show you how to do it. For a limited time, get 20% off of the whole Inside Tracker store. All you have to do is go to InsideTracker.com backslash poor minds. That's InsideTracker.com backslash poor minds. Okay, so for the second topic, we want to talk about <laughs> giving someone who always wanted to like fuck with you or whatever, and you know, you used to probably turn them down and shit, mm. giving them a chance mm. eventually. Bad idea. Always a bad idea. Mm. I mm. agree. I, okay, why do you agree with this statement? I'll tell you why I agree. Because I feel like if you was trying to talk to me for a long ass time and I was ignoring you and I wasn't wanting to deal with you and then I finally am like, you know what? Because nine times out of ten, if I didn't want to deal with you and nothing interested me about you already mm. for so long, I'm probably only giving you a chance because I'm bored. Right, right, okay. And I'm just like, you know what? I ain't talking to nobody else. Ain't nobody else better. Let's see what these right. are talking about. I'm already bored. So that's already a bad idea. Mm. But then on top of that, it's very, not to say, what, what word am I trying to use? It's very naive of you to believe that mm. that nigga don't know that too. Right. For me. And I think sometimes men just stick around. Or they just be waiting on their turn, and then when they get their turn, just because you used to dub them and you used to be trying to shit they're on trying them. trying to get their lick back. Yeah, they're trying mm. to get their lick back. I just don't think it's a good idea. Or even to take it to, an, like, let's take it from another perspective. This nigga been wanting to fuck with you for so long, you've been turning him down. You like the woman of his dreams. He might be obsessed with you. It might end up being like a crazy stalker killer type of situation. Like, if, if I can't be with you, you can't be with nobody if you don't want to fuck with that nigga no mm. more. Cause this is a nigga who been wanting you for right. a long time. He might be a little upset. Right. I take it like this. I'm going to take it a little bit further. Mm -hmm. I don't want somebody who's been obsessing with me for a long time because your standards done got way too high. Because you expecting like... Because I'm not going to lie. As I age and progress, I'm getting better. So if okay. you've been watching me for two, three years... And you and I finally decided to give you a chance. You like, oh, I, she about to pull out the bells and whistles. No, nigga, I'm still me. So now you coming into this situation expecting this and this and that when I'm just a regular ass girl and I like to chill. I like to be at home. I like to watch Marvel movies. I'm I'm on some low key shit, but you expecting me to bring you around. We you expected to come up to the 85 South <laughs> Studio. Low key Lex P. I'm low key Lex P. So you expecting me to show you the bells and whistles? There ain't no bells and whistles, bitch. You about to get some chicken Alfredo, some motherfucking Chardonnay with the baby shrimp. With the baby shrimp. The little frog pre -cooked. ones, the pre-cooked. Pre-cooked, bitch. I ain't there yet. I just said I just started cooking, bitch. I'm just <laughs> I'm just now getting there. Right. So I feel like sometimes people's expectation be too high when they're, they've been chasing somebody for so long and they finally got them. And then they be like, oh, it's not what I thought it was. It's not. Don't put me, put me on the pedestal that you put them other bitches at. You don't, you don't want nothing from them and you expect it to be down here. Put me down there too. 
I don't want to have to meet your expectations just because you've been chasing me for three, four years. I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So I don't want somebody who's been chasing me forever because you expect, oh, she done this. Oh, she signed this. Now, oh, I know by the time I get her, it's going to be lit. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. you, mm. All right. You going to be, because this is, yeah, it's just too much to live up to. I'm not trying to live up to your standards mm -hmm. because you've been watching me this long. You know how many people are watching you right now, Dre? I mean, just, yeah. Oh, just the idea of. <laughs> All right. I hate it here. <laughs> Just the idea of dating somebody who's been watching me for a long time is mm. wild to me. Like, I just wouldn't want to date you for mm. that reason anyway, so that's weird. That's weird that you already knew who I was all this time, but I had no idea who you were. Now, don't do that. What you mean? Because you got somebody you got your eye on. Who? You know, bro, you're a wild, you a wild, a wild boy. I'm a wild boy. <laughs> we all got an eye on somebody, but you're no, not watching but him. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking about watching somebody like preying on them. Like, yeah. I'm going to wait till I feel like she Yeah, ready. like that's scary. Yeah, but niggas do that. Niggas do that. And crazy. They, they feel like they're on a certain level. And or... let's not just say niggas, women do that too. Yeah, women definitely do that. Women definitely, I'll say this. I might be uh, spilling a lot of girls' tea right now, but you girls, you women that be watching these younger athletes or younger rappers and y'all feel like y'all gonna groom them and catch them while they're young, you're weird. Because if you really that bitch like you talking about and you really got it like that, pull somebody your age or pull somebody that's in that's already doing what you're doing. Stop trying to prey on these young men, okay? I'm not blaming it solely on the women because a lot of these men... They be wanting the older girls and things like that. I had to look at both the cameras. Yeah, because I'm not going to lie. No, I'm not going to lie. Most, not you blowing up they spot. I am blowing up they spot because you know how many young niggas I have in my DMs that I could fuck their world up and get everything that I want from them, but I don't do it because Same. I don't want to groom nobody. I want a man. I don't want no little boy who just signed a contract. You're a little boy to yeah. me. I'm not, and that's not being disrespectful. It's just real. I can't do nothing with you. I can't do nothing yeah. with you. You got to focus on building yourself. My self has already been built. Remember when that boy got married? That boy... Oh, <laughs> that sweet baby. He wasn't ready. He was not ready. How dare you get mad? So Ryan wanted me and Lex to go to this event. And we had to like, um, what what would you call it? What is it called? <laughs> MC? No, <laughs> oh, no. It's not called MC when you do it at a sports event. Okay, what are the sports events called with like commentators? Okay, yes. So Ryan wanted us to be a commentator at the celebrity. Can y'all just know my vocabulary this episode? <laughs> commentator. <Did it>. Period. <laughs> so yeah, Ryan wanted us to be commentators at this um celebrity basketball game, mm -hmm. and it was like this little young boy that played football. He was probably like twenty four, twenty five, and he was trying to talk to me. We exchanged numbers again because I was bored. So we exchanged numbers. We was texting and shit. Y'all, he got mad at me because I didn't respond back to him in two hours and he unfollowed me on Instagram. And he, it, he was also like, oh, you don't realize who the fuck I am type shit. No, it wasn't even like that. I just feel like, because he didn't say nothing like that to me. I just think he thought that I was playing with him. Yeah, like, he was okay. like, you playing with me. I know you older than me, but I don't care. Like, I could be what you want me to be. No, you can't. And but then, you literally can't. And you literally, literally can't. you showed me that when you unfollowed me because I didn't text you back in two hours. Like, real, that's so real childish. niggas know how to, like, just kick back and be like, all right, whenever yeah. she ready, she ready. Right. So, yeah, the young boys, I can't do I it. I can't deal with you young boys. Y'all mm -hmm. just not my team. Mm -mm. I can never see you talking to a young guy. Really? I can't see myself, but to me, like... I think when I'm 40, like, when I'm, like, 45, and, like, say I done got a divorce, because, like, I always say I'm going to be married twice. I believe that. So I'll probably be, like, post-first divorce. Okay. And I definitely think I could get me, like, you know, I was trying to get my group back. Yeah, okay. I can, Maybe I can see that. Yeah. But he gonna not have right to... now. Like, yeah, not, not me right at 30, 31, no. A, a young nigga cannot handle you. At what all. do you mean? Like, why would you say that? Because, like, you a whole lot of woman. But when you say that, what exactly do you mean? I mean, like, as far My as... My mentality? Your mentality, um, the things that you like to do. Like, a young guy does not know how to really court women like us. Mm. 
we are really complex creatures. Because mm-hmm. the thing that's going to get you, mm-hmm. and I know this about you because this is why we connected, if you don't have a good conversation mm-hmm. and you don't stimulate us intellectually, because there's things that sometimes men think that they're being um, intellectually stimulating, mm-hmm. and they'll say things, and they sound dumb. Yeah. And I'm like, this is really how you think? And I'll never talk to that nigga again. Like, I recently had a situation. I was feeling myself. I was in the club. I was literally pulling. Now she was in the club. Right. You was pulling. in the club doing I, what? I was a pulling the niggas. Like, they were literally, as I walked through the arena, How they were dropping you got? dead. They were dropping dead. They were literally dropping dead. So the one that I chose, I knighted him. <laughs> I knighted him and granted him permission to text me. And once I started talking to him, like, I realized, okay, he cool. He got yeah. it a little bit. But it was, the conversation was underwhelming. Yeah. So the girls that are dropping dead for you, you want me to do that. But I'm not doing that because I want more. Mm-hmm. I need more than money. I need more than the flashy things. And a lot of times that's all what people need. I need some stimulation. Mm-hmm. I need passion. I need romance. Mm-hmm. I need all of that. Mm-hmm. So I feel like we demand so much and honestly... Young men and women don't know how to do that. Even young women, you're like, y'all don't know nothing about no romance. Y'all don't know nothing about no passion. Y'all don't know really how to make a man really feel good. Mm-hmm. Lead up to Big Mama. If you want to learn, I'll teach you how. Hey, I know how to make a man feel good, but same, I do too. Mm. That's why he loves it here. I just feel like, yeah, I, I can't. Young guys are just not my thing. Mm. They're too immature. Yeah. That was a very immature situation. Unfollowing me on Instagram. Like, me me and the niggas that I be talking to that's older than me, we don't even follow each other to begin with. Hey! Hello? Let me tell you something. Y'all like, we don't never... even follow each other to begin with. So you unfollowing me because you're mad at me. I'm not, I follow one of the niggas that I was dealing with, but it was a younger nigga. And what happened? We ended up blocking and unfollowing each other. Yeah. So honestly, y'all And he got to... a girlfriend now, too. Ooh. I seen it. The boy. The little boy. Oh, I thought y'all my mind. I was about to say, who? Not a little boy. Because who would date? <laughs> mm. But, you know. Good luck to you, my friend. I get me. Please. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you a little lit like me? It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. I literally was oh, not expecting sorry. you to sing that. I thought you was about to do Wasn't it like a song that was like, lock it up? Oh, no, that was my dance. Is. Lock it up. Lock it up. Hey. Lock it up. Lock it up. Hey. But I feel like somebody had a dance like this. Burn it on the knee, knock his bread off. Had his bread off. That one. Okay. So Yo, now we're going to get into the bed. Hey. The bed. Bow. The bed. Bow. 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 bow, bow. bow, bow. So. I know that mm. we have talked about this before. This is nasty. And a lot this of is talk- a nasty topic. A nasty, from a nasty, nasty girl. From a nasty girl. <laughs> I like a nasty, nasty. <laughs> I like a nasty, do nasty girl. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I've talked about this before. A lot of podcasts has talked about this before, but we want to talk about it from a different perspective. Because one thing we like to do is bring different elements to the table. Mm-hmm. So, Not the crimson tide rolling in. Everybody, <laughs> the crimson tide, it's the vocabulary for mm-hmm. me. The, so well, that's what the article said. Oh, my bad. <laughs> so, everybody <laughs> likes to talk about running the red light, period sex. Oh, would you do it? Would you not? We don't give a fuck. These niggas is fucking on the period. But we want to talk about Candies. the benefits of having sex on your period. Because believe it or not, there are benefits. There are benefits. No, I was, that candle smell good. Mm, it do. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah. So we're going to talk about the Many benefits, benefits of having sex on your period because I feel like a lot of times... Now, I will say, I'm not having period sex anymore because I told you I feel like throwback bae. Like, we did it so much. I felt like he had, like, a hold on me on some weird shit. And I finally I finally broke now, free. Now, they be saying that's like that voodoo shit. It is. And I believe it. It really is. I believe it. It's sick. Because any nigga I ever had sex with on my period, they just would not leave me the fuck alone. He won't leave me alone, but I won't. I mean, you I won't leave him alone. him alone either. No, I left him alone. When? Since three days ago? No. I am a married woman. <laughs> 
we we gonna talk about this after the show. It is. <laughs> okay, so read the first benefit of having sex on your period. It might ease period cramps. Okay. Period cramps can be a wet blanket for making whoopee. Ooh. First of all, who the fuck be calling sex making whoopee? Whoopee. Whoopee sound like farting. No, that's puff. No, that's not like whoop. <laughs> whoopee. <laughs> I wish I had a time machine. You're going to jail. <laughs> You're going to fucking jail. Whoop. Whoop. Whoopee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my anyway, God. okay, okay. Go ahead. but if you power through a big O, you might find some relief. Okay, there isn't hard evidence saying orgasms fix cramps per se, but orgasms do flood your body with endorphins, which can act as a natural pain reliever. Take that, might all. Oh, I like that because honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I, be bad. My cramps are so bad during my period. I used to be the girl that could like function during my period. I never understood why women would be like, oh, we need time off during, oh, I need to take off of school. I was like, what? My periods be normal. But honestly, I don't know if it's with age or something, but my periods have been really hard for me lately. Mm. They're really heavy. They're really hard. So um, yeah. I've found I don't have sex on my period anymore because of other reasons. Like I said, I don't want no soul time. Yeah, voodoo sex. Yeah, that voodoo sex. But... I will say I, I started masturbating during my period and I feel like it does ease my cramps a little bit. It definitely does. Masturbating? So, yes, masturbating like during how, your period? Yes. Yes. How they work? Well, I'll give you a little lesson. I don't wanna see it. Oh, not see it, I'll tell you. No, thank you. You're strict in this bitch. So I agree with that. It that says it might ease period cramps, it does for me. Mm. Okay, so two, this is another one. I believe is true as well. It says it makes periods shorter. Mm -hmm. Orgasms make your uterus and cervix contract. Since your uterine lining is what sheds during menstruation, it's possible that orgasms help empty it out more quickly. Shorter periods? Yes, please. I agree with this Not as well. See, for me, I be feeling like having sex start my period sometimes. Like, it makes yeah, it come like, earlier. Right, it probably does. But I'm saying having sex during your period, I feel like it con it con it it's, it's cleaning it out. How? Because it literally says it makes your uterus and cervix contract. So I when it's contract, it's pumping. It's pumping that lining. Get that lining out of here. Get it out. Hey, get it out. You are get disgusting. Get it out. Hey, get it out. I do it all, baby. I'm going to try it off. Next time. But I believe that that's to be true. So next one. It can increase your sex drive, which is why she be so horny. Oh, Sexual me so horny. <laughs> oh, me so horny. Uh, me love you. Me love so horny. Why they did that on this song? Uh, me no, so what horny. did you say about Gunna uh, Song? What? The Gunna Song. Oh, with Drake, P-Power? That is, I, okay, so first of all, that girl was in the background like, uh. <laughs> Can y'all stop making songs <laughs> with women moaning in the background? That pussy got power. Oh. <laughs> I'm in the car. You said you was in the car with your mama like. I was. I had to turn it down. Because uh. that girl kept saying, uh. <laughs> my, mama, uh. my mama was like. <laughs> the fuck you got me listening? I can't stop crying. Jam session gunners. <laughs> then hear this bitch come. Oh. <laughs> I'm weak. My mama is a senior citizen. <laughs> Stop doing her like she that. Is. No, she not. Yes, she is. I for mean, real. she is, but not really. She's still a baddie. What you mean, not really? She can still be a baddie, but she's a senior citizen. She don't want to hear this. Okay. She ain't trying to hear no bitch moaning. <laughs> oh, I hate that song. I really do. I love the song. No, I love but the I song, like but the you could have... song would have been just as great without the girl moaning. Like, why do we need the... Oh, <laughs> oh I It was shaky, too. She was scared. That's why I'm doing it like that, not on purpose. My moans don't sound like that. Your moans be strong. Oh. <laughs> no, they don't. Oh. <laughs> no, but she was like, oh. It was like quiver. It was like a quiver. <laughs> like, she was nervous. Like, they told her to push that shit out of here. Shit 
during your cycle and it just so happens that some of us feel our horniest during menstruation driver roll up the partition please driver roll up, up the, the partition, partition please. please tell what you're saying y'all say oh honey mm. Beyonce nasty Beyonce was probably in the studio like oh. <laughs> Beyonce how dare you she was like what? <laughs> she did she said Like gets me ready. Like I do be wanting most on my period. I don't know if this is an older woman thing mm. or what. <laughs> Why do you say older? Because I'm getting older. I am, and I have no. But you're in your thirties. No, I'm in you're my early thirties. I'm in my. I'm still young. But what I'm saying is, I'm crossing that threshold of when your body starts changing, when your feelings start changing. I'm not saying I'm old. I'm not old. I'm just saying I'm crossing. I'm crossing. I'm crossing that threshold. You were you're, talking about me. <laughs> what? With my teeth. <laughs> it's the wine. Now we know. Because I ain't... I, I said it's the wine. That's okay. what I said. All right. Okay. So, ooh. Okay. I have a story about this, too. Period blood is like free lube. This might get a little, you know. <laughs> Menstrual blood is basically a natural lubricant. Okay. But isn't having sex on your period going to be bloodier than saw five? Well, the average person loses only one to six tablespoons of menstrual fluid during a cycle. It's really not a lot of blood. I disagree with that. It'd be I a lot of blood. I don't like that shit because, number one, that's fine, free lube, but free lube don't smell like pennies. <laughs> it don't. It don't. But that shit do. It definitely does. And honestly, like, I've had such an embarrassing moment. Like, <laughs> Taylor, <right>? one time <laughs> I was having... Y'all, listen, I was having sex with my period one time. We was like, we was getting into the groove of it. I was like, damn, he must be hitting this shit right. And he smelled it. He was like, yeah, you wet. That's why I said, I said, Abraham Lincoln in the building. (laughs) (laughs) I said, hold on, bitch. Hold on. Because hold the fuck on, nigga. I don't like. Why do we smell like that? It's blood. Blood has a scent. It really does. It smells like pennies for real. It does. So I will say I don't like this. This is not a benefit to me. Period blood is like lube, but I don't like that. I don't need yeah, I don't either. like that portion of it. So I'm going to have to X this one out for me. Mm-hmm. All right. So la- oh, we have more. Okay, go well, ahead. Well, let's choose two more because okay. it's a lot. Oh, it is a lot. <laughs> okay, it's a lot. Okay, so choose two more. Okay. Okay. Um, let's do this one because I think a lot of people don't believe this. You can get pregnant on your period. Okay. You can get pregnant while you're on your period. Mm-hmm. Wait, huh? Every everyone's menstrual menstrual. Why can I say that? <laughs> Everyone. It's the yak. It is the yak. Everyone's don't menstrual talk cycle back. is a different length. Some women have short cycles, and sperm can live inside the female body up to five days. So it is possible to get prego if ovulation occurs right before or right after sperm stops by to say hello. Additionally, it's possible to mistake vaginal bleeding while ovulating for a period, which again could lead to pregnancy. The likelihood of getting pregnant on your period is low, but it's still a risk. Wow. Yeah, I think that's something that I used to definitely think. I think I don't everybody think thinks that. Yeah. Everybody assumes that you can't get pregnant mm. unless you're actual ovulating, right. like on your calendar. Or so I feel like do what works for you. Honestly, I don't do it anymore, not for anything medical or anything other than that. But I just feel like period sex is something I don't like to do because of the soul ties and things like that. But there are benefits to at least masturbating. I think you should read this one because we know somebody like this. Okay. Okay, I'll read one. The dreaded forgotten tampon. Mm. Repeat after us. I will remember to remove my tampon. If you have 
penetrative sex while wearing a tampon, the tampon will get pushed against your cervix and cause discomfort or pain. It could also go MIA and up your chances of TSS, which is toxic shock syndrome. So please just take your tampon out. If you want to keep your flow in check during sex, try a period disc that can be worn during sex. I don't know what a period disc is. Oh, it's um the little disc that you could put in there and it like holds all the blood in. Okay. And you can have sex with that on? Yeah. Okay. So honestly Devo is like disgusted I'm right now. I'm sorry, but we got we gotta educate she said, people. I'm disgusted. You hoes cannot, cannot be, be trusted. trusted. Mm. First of all, I don't like to wear tampons personally. I like to let everything just flow out and come out. I don't personally wear tampons at all unless I absolutely have to. But yes, ladies, if you are a tampon wearer, please remember to take your shit out because why are you fucking with a tampon in? That's just disgusting. And why are you forgetting this in there? That thing right. wide. That thing is super wide. Can't be tight. Because yes. why you forget this in there? It's getting too, too loud. And imagine having a, a tampon in there for two weeks. Too loud. It's getting too. It, they be like, damn, y'all wrote that Reggie up? They walk in the building. <laughs> bitch just got her legs open. Not the stank on you. It's the stank on you, baby. Okay. So let me say this. We found all these facts on greatest.com. This was medically reviewed by Janet Brito, who is a doctor. And this article was written by Jessica Wakeman. So thank you for this article. It was very educational. And we Amen, brother. It. Amen, brothers and sisters. So now we're gonna break this movie down. Y'all know we love a good movie breakdown. Okay, so we watched a movie that everybody was requesting more to so us. She. No, they were requesting to us. No, to I'm watch saying this. more so you watched she. Oh, okay, yeah, I did watch the movie. So it's called Deep Water. It's on Hulu, um, and it's starring Ben Affleck. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to watch the movie like twice and I kept falling asleep on it. But there's a reason I really want to talk about this movie. It's because they did something that a lot of people I feel like in the movie industry do not pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And it was about character development and dialogue. Mm -hmm. So did you did you finish it? No. You didn't finish it. I didn't. I'm sorry, sister. It's okay. It's okay, because I'm not going to tell... I just, you know, I just... Y- y'all, I literally just got back... It's okay. From um, Columbia. Yeah. So, first of all, let me just say this as well. The movie is starring Ben Affleck and... What's her name? Anna de Armas. hmm Beautiful. Beautiful woman. Literally. I'm literally a fan of hers because she's so beautiful. Mm. I feel like that's what movie I'm stars... Google her. Um, that's I, that's what I love about like movie stars. Like you look at her and you be like, oh my god, I get it. I get why this character loves her. But I want to talk about um, the dialogue of the movie. So the basis of the movie is basically a married man. Um, he's married to this woman who is just a firecracker. She was giving me Drea vibes. Honestly, you're married to a girl and she's just never satisfied. She's happy. She wants more. So, but I, honestly, she wasn't giving well, me... Well, she can't be happy if she always want more. Well, I'll say this. It's not that she necessarily wanted more. She just liked adventure. She liked to push her husband's buttons. Mm. So, a lot of times she was... Well, not a lot of times. The basis of the movie is that she keeps flirting with these men in front of her husband's face. Maybe messing around with these men in front of her husband's face. That's she's giving me vibes. She's letting her husband... know. No, not the vibes of cheating. More so the vibes of... She literally told him... This is why I want to talk about the dialogue of the movie because it was real conversations. Mm. A lot of times when these writers get in these rooms, they write what they feel like should be said versus listening to people who are actually having these conversations Mm -hmm. and the character development. Like, it was very real. It was very fucking real. And she told him, she was like, you're bored. You would be bored if you were married to anybody else other than me. Mm. Like, that's what she told him. So I'm not necessarily saying that that's that's the things that you would do, what she was doing, because honestly, she was reckless. She was flirting in front of men, in front of her face, like drinking, being all like... I don't know. Like, she was doing a lot. She was doing a lot, I will say. But how they wrote it, it's to the fact that you're rooting for him. You want him to leave. So basically, he starts killing everybody that she is flirting with, fucking with. If you looked at her, he's going to kill you. And I'm not going to give the story away, like I said, but the ending is absolutely insane. This is a book, and I'm actually going to go back and read the book because the movie oh, was... Oh, it's a book? So yeah, the movie book. was based off of a book. It was based off of a book, and it was just so good because it's one of those movies... I'm an action movie girl, so 
So I need action. I need I need the first scene to be motherfuckers dropping in the bank, slicing off heads, cutting off dicks. You know what I'm thinking about when you say that? Stabbing niggas in the gut. What? Set it off. Yes. I need action. That's it all started out. Remember the first scene? I need action. Just yeah. like The Dark Knight. Action. Yeah. I need action. But this movie is not that at all. Mm -hmm. But it's about the dialogue. So that's where a so lot of movies do we, like, miss that. Up? It, it really kind of stays the same the whole time, but you have to pay attention to the dialogue. Mm. Their first conversation he has, they have together. She says, she's picking out what she's trying to put on. She's like, what dress do you like the best? He's like, well, they both look good on you, but the one that you have on is beautiful. So you can see how obsessed he is with her. Like, he loves his wife, and he wants her to want him so bad. Mm. And you, you, you feel sorry for him because you feel like, oh, man, he's trying so hard. Like, he loves her so much. And then you get into what he does for a living. He makes drones for a living mm. that kill people. Hmm. So he don't have no fucking morals. He don't give a fuck about nobody. He gonna but get he give what a fuck he, about her. He gives a fuck what he wants to give a fuck about. So I feel like the writing was so deep, and you really gotta pay attention. And it was one of those movies that you're not gonna like it if you're not, I don't wanna say intellectual or mm -hmm. deep person, but if you're a person who likes to listen and really put things together because they they brought like snails into it girl because he was obsessed with snails mm -hmm. and he told one of the characters in the movie he was like you know a snail will follow another snail for like up up a wall for like 12 feet to chase its partner so he was trying to let them know stop fucking with me because I'm going to follow this bitch wherever she go and I'm going to do whatever she wants me to do mm -hmm. and if you want to talk to my wife you're going to die mm -hmm. and I I it wasn't giving good good energy, but in the end, I will say, she was so toxic, she liked it too. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's giving they both toxic. It was like you, you made it seem like she was toxic and he she wasn't. She is though. She, but because that's but what I'm they saying. You're making it seem like she's toxic and he's not. It's giving that they're like the perfect union they, because they're both. Toxic. And that's what it gives in the ending. Like in the ending, you'll see that. But that's but it has to lead up to it's that. It's the build up. It's the character development. Yeah, the movies don't do that no mm -hmm. more. They just want to start because a lot of people they don't want to. They don't want to watch a two-hour movie. They don't want to get into the characters. Yeah. They developed his character so good because you literally, the start of the movie, you feel sorry for him. And you're like, mm. oh, my God. But then you realize, nigga, you a sick bitch. You're sick. You deserve it. You deserve everything, but you like it. You want her to flirt with somebody yeah. else because you want to kill that nigga. Yeah. She wants you to kill that nigga. Y'all are sick. If I seen that bitch, I, I swear to God, I don't care if she star in the next fucking Snoopy movie. I ain't even gonna look at that bitch. Not Snoopy, bitch. Well, you never know. I'm just saying. But she is a beautiful girl, and honestly... Oh, you no, know, I just Googled her. She's beautiful. She's absolutely but... beautiful. Beautiful girl. And I will say this. There was one part where, like, they were having sex, and Ben Affleck's character was eating her ass, and I don't think he was acting. <laughs> I said, you eating that ass for real. I would have. I would have taken a little lick. She was fine. She is fine. She was definitely fine. I thought it would have... Yeah, Ben, you was not acting, Ben. Real quick. Ben, I see you. I see you. But I I will say this. I'm not a big fan of Ben Affleck, but I feel like he does a very good job at playing that, that boring guy, but low-key, he has a secret life. That's his role that he needs to stick mm -hmm. to that. If y'all have ever seen The Accountant with Ben Affleck, it's the same type of role. He's a quiet guy, but on the side, he's a killer. The Accountant is one of my favorite movies. Mm -hmm. You have to watch The Accountant. If y'all have never seen The Accountant, it's good. But I feel like that's the kind of roles that Ben Affleck needs to stick to because when he tried to do the Batman, it wasn't very well received because it was very... Batman requires too much um, action and too much interaction. Ben Affleck is good with those characters that are, like, quiet. And you're like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. He's very good at that. So, honestly... Ben, you turned the page for me. So, so you enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed the movie. Deep Water. It's a book. It's a movie on Hulu. Um, I'll give it eight out of ten. I really okay. enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. And I, like I said, I tried. I fell asleep on it the first two times, but once I really paid attention, it was good. It was good.
It was okay. definitely good. Ship more in less time with ShipStation. Use our offer code Poor Minds to get a 60 day trial. That's two months free of no hassle, stress free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in Poor Minds. What's up, y'all? It's your girl XP. And it's your girl Dre and Nicole. And we are here to tell y'all all about ShipStation. If you have a business that you're running and you sell on Etsy, Amazon, eBay, whatever, ShipStation is going to be the thing that you need to use yeah you know i'm about to launch my cosmetics line Period. and i am already signed up with ShipStation. i'm super excited because i know they're going to help me get my orders out super quick and super efficient mm -hmm. so what you're going to do to save money is you're going to go to shipstation.com and use our code poor minds and you're going to get a 60 day free trial that's two months free of shipping out whatever products that you sell for free with ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. Period. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we gonna get into, into the bow. Hey. The bow. Hey. The bow. Bow, 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 bow. Okay, so my bop of the week, I told y'all I'm outside with the Afro beats, with the vibes, with the music. So shout out a true Naja girl. I am. Oh, y'all, there's a post that's going viral right now. They were like, you know when an American babe gets a Nigerian guy because all she posts on her story is Nigerian music. I said, <laughs> it's, it's giving me. Um, but no, I just, I really appreciate the culture and I love it. And I feel like we should all learn about other cultures. It's so much to learn. Mm -hmm. And it's very interesting. Like, American culture to me, like, I know it. I'm from here. I'm bored. I'm really bored mm -hmm. with it. So, um, this is a Nigerian artist. His name is Rema. And he has a song with Black, Six Lack, whatever y'all want to call it's that black. man. I know it's Black, but, you know. Not <laughs> six Lack, a Six Lack. Um, so he has a song, he has a song called Hold Me, and shout out to Sade, the girl that always does my readings, I always tell y'all about her, I love her. She, I feel like she really gets me, because she knows the sound I listen to, because a lot of people be sending me music, and I'd be like, why would you think I would like mm -hmm. this? Like, somebody sent me some songs the other day, and it literally sounded like some civil rights music. And I was yeah. like, girl, I'm yeah. not trying to march to the king, honey. It was very giving Kitten Hill marching <laughs> to with MLK on your side, civil rights, spray me down not with water. Miss Rosa. It was giving back of the bus. I'm not I'm standing my ground. Bro, you gotta sing the song to me. It was no, when you hear it, you're gonna be like I said, baby girl. Now I know I've been changed. Yes, it was definitely girl. giving that. I'm dead. I was like, girl, oh, wow. but I love Shade. Everything that she sends me be fire. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, this song is by Rema and Black. It's called Hold Me. Um, it's just giving summer vibes. I told y'all the Naja boys are coming for the summer. Song is fire. He actually has another song that I listened to off of that project with Chris Brown. Um, it's called, hold on, let me look it up. Because he's good. I love his voice. Black came in there and killed his part per usual. Because let's let's keep it real. We need to give Black his flowers. Mm -hmm. Because he always gets on the track and kills it. So he has a song called Time and Affection as well with Chris Brown. Chris Brown gets on these little island type of songs. The, and snaps. And snaps. He do every oh time. Oh, my God. It, it's so good. Because so, wasn't he on that song, Can I Get Your Number, Girl? <laughs> Can I Get Your Number? Yeah. Yeah, he would. You better do a little ting. I, I know. Hey. One thing about it, I love me some Chris Brown. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, Rima, Black, Hold Me. It's a bop. I love it. It's definitely giving summer vibes. So, yeah, that's my bop of the week. Mm. Okay. My mom of the week, we it's funny because we were just talking about this on the episode with Ronnie. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Brent Fayez, Mercedes. Oh, okay. Brent Fayez. Mer Love that man. Mm. No, me too. I feel like he say some real shit. Like, when he say some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. But people let it slide because he can sing. Yeah, that's how they do with me. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, okay, Brent, big Brent in the building. So, yeah, so I feel like Brent Fayez really say some wild shit on yeah, the track when you really does. think about it. Okay. But people let it slide because he can sing. Yeah. 
But that nigga hard as fuck. So Mercedes, have you heard Mercedes? I haven't. I haven't. Oh, okay. But I'm saying like I fuck it's with not, Brent. It's not like a brand new song. Like I feel like it's kind of been out for like the past few months. But this but is what I'm good. saying. That's still new. I hate when people, oh. I hate when I tweet a song, I'll be like, oh, y'all heard this? This shit old. Oh, song yeah. been out for four months. Yeah. It's still a new song. Mm-hmm. We need to stop doing that. That's what puts pressure on artists, and that's why they be dropping bullshit. If a song is out for four months, it's still fucking new. So what make a song old to you? Like, when do a song get old? To me, a song is old, like, once it's, I'll, I'll say, I give songs, like, two years. Like, if you dropped a project last year, and I'm just now hearing mm-hmm. it, that's still a fucking new project. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sorry, if you say, oh, um, oh, we had Young Jock on the show. Damn, he was on a long time ago. No, he fucking wasn't. That mm-hmm. wasn't that long ago. That's still a fucking new episode, bitch. You got me fucked up. Right. Because that's why people, their expectations be too high. And that goes back to that's why niggas, when they be watching, they it, stop doing that to people. Give people time. Mm-hmm. Okay? So if a song dropped four months ago, it's still a new song. If a song dropped last year <laughs> for a project, it's still fairly new. I say once it's like two or three years, that's when it, you can say it's old. I just got a, sorry, y'all. I had just got a glimpse of the first question. <laughs> Or pour your heart out, and it's shady. Okay. And nasty. Okay. Um, and rude. Greenchef.com slash poorminds130 and use code poorminds130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know it's about to be summertime, and we outside. The weather is getting nice, so get your body right and get in shape and eat healthy. Period. And I've really been trying to be on my healthy eating. I have not been playing, mm-hmm. okay? So I just had the shrimp pesto from green chef and it was so good yes so green chef offers you so many options whether you're vegan vegetarian paleo keto they have everything and it's sent directly to your door and they come with the seasonings because y'all know we need some seasoning Mm -hmm. you know you got to eat healthy but you still want it to be flavorful right so that's the great thing about green chef best thing about green chef so what you're going to do is you're going to go to greenchef.com slash poor minds 130 and use code poor minds 130 and you're going to get a hundred and thirty dollars off plus free shipping period okay so now we're gonna get into the questions (laughs) of the week if you want your question answered on the show make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com that's a-s-k-p-o-u-r-m-i-n-d-s dot com and if you are a patreon member make sure you put in the profile the subject whatever that you a patreon member okay Mm -hmm. so question number one if your girl fumbles a BDB, is it your right to scoop him up? Or y'all stick to the girl code and never dabble in your friend's leftovers? Bitch, I'll beat a bitch up. Exactly. Because, yeah. girl, it's too many B. Be- if you got to get your Why friend you on BDB, you're nigga. really not that girl. Stop saying y'all this girl. Y'all, and I'm not talking to you personally. No, we is talking to you, because why would you ask some shit like that, bitch? We talking to you. Why the fuck would you want to fuck somebody that your friend used to fuck? Because let me tell you something. Y'all is not different. A lot of women be like, oh, well, I can get this out of him. If your friend didn't get it out of him, most likely he done put y'all in the category already, and you're not going to get no shit either, baby. Like, why would you do that? Well, so, I disagree with that. No, no, I'm saying... over 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 time, it's been situations where people have fucked with their friends, nigga, or fucked with somebody, and a nigga did more for them than he did for the that friend or whatever. Friend. I'm just saying, though, it's oh. been situations where that type of shit has happened. Somebody got more out of a nigga than you got out of him. That wasn't my friend. Even if it was your... It's been situations where I've that I've seen where it's been somebody friend. I ain't never seen no friend of mine. And I've had a... None I've of your friends two, fuck with your niggas. I've had two situations where my friends have fucked a nigga the that I used to fuck with. Money. I mean, they had a little something. A little... <laughs> I can't fuck... A little something. <laughs> but no. Um, I think that's stupid. Stop it. Get, there's too many... There's a lot... Whether y'all like to believe it or not, the BDBs is outside, and it's gonna be a warm fucking summer, bitch. If you really that bitch, go get I you just another feel one. I'm like, yes, girl, go get your own, nigga. It's giving you not that, that girl. girl. I would never. And let me tell you something. The the the, the men. I'm just saying, the men like you got a good roster. Who you? But there's <laughs> I know not... I said who. Like I ain't know. <laughs> there is nothing in me that would ever want to talk to her niggas at all. Like, nothing in me. Because first of all, anyways. What she was going to say? 
Because they a nice roster if you talk about money, but they trash. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, so, yeah. Yeah. All but, right. yeah, girl, like, girl. why are you even asking that? It's making me be questionable about you. Mm-hmm. What type of bitch is you? Because why are you asking us something like that? Because I don't feel like that was hypothetically. Mm-hmm. So, question number two. Hey, Drea and Lex, y'all are the motherfucking greatest to ever do it on them. Do it on them. What you ain't do is lie. Whenever... <laughs> Go ahead, man. Whenever I listen to y'all, I feel like I'm just kicking it with my homegirls and y'all stay cracking me the fuck up. I have a topic suggestion, birth control. I feel like there are so many women led podcasts, but no one ever talks about this or their experiences with different birth controls. I'm currently using the pill, but sometimes I feel like it really fucks with my mood and hormones. And I'm constantly second guessing if I should stop taking it and try another option. Just stick with it or give up on hormonal hormonal birth control completely and switch back to condoms. Definitely not in the market to be a mom anytime soon, but I also feel like the birth control options available for women are so limited, especially if you want to be hormone-free. Just curious about your views on birth control overall, your experiences with it, and what worked for you both. Bro. Mm. So, mm-hmm. when I, I started taking birth control when I was 15, yeah, I did. Because my mom was a nurse. I've talked about That's that. That's why I'm hip spread. Girl, <laughs> so my mom was a nurse my whole life. Mm-hmm. I think I've talked about this on the show. So, being that my mom was in the medical field, she always looked at things from a medical perspective. Right. And not a perspective of like, oh, I'm your mama, I don't want you fucking. Right. So, and I also had really bad cramps, too, when I was younger. So, my doctor basically told my mom, like, since her cramps are so bad, she can either get on iron pills, which the iron pills were really, really big, Mm. or she could start taking birth control. Mm. So, my mom was like, well, I'm cool with her taking birth control because if she's about to go to high school, she start having sex, whatever. She needs to do that anyway. I would prefer for her to be safe. So, I started taking birth control when I was, like, 14, 15. Um, I took it up until I got to college. I want to say when I was like 22, 23. So maybe right after I graduated from college, I stopped taking it because I felt like it used to make me gain a lot of water okay, weight. Okay, that's all I was saying. That was for me too. I gained a lot of weight. I gained a lot of water weight and I did not like that shit. I felt like I was always bloated. I also didn't like the fact that, okay, bitch, if I just forget to take these pills for two, three days, I gotta start a whole new pack. Mm-hmm. And then it throw my cycle off and I'm starting my cycle at a whole different time. Mm-hmm. I just, I didn't like it. It, yeah, it just like wasn't for me. I, what I personally do right now, I stopped taking birth. Out. I stopped oh. taking birth control when I was like 23, 24, and I haven't taken it since. And I just like to have the period tracker apps on my phone. Yeah. So I track my ovulation. So when I'm ovulating, I I Yeah, we're not having sex. No, we can't have sex, but you can't to me. Oh all right. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, <laughs> honestly, my method has really I use condoms. I use condoms. I told y'all I'm latex flex. I don't play that shit. Um, now, in my situation, I'm thinking about being a little more lenient, but we have talked about male birth control. He, We have talked about that a little bit. He gonna take them pills. I don't know. We have to do our research. He gonna be moody. He already is. And hippie. And he's not hippie. He gonna have some No, now. he not. But I think I like we're gonna look into his because pills. why is it always on us to take birth control? So, but honestly, I asked him about it, and he was like, you know, it's something that, you know, if birth because birth control really affects me really, really a lot. Not only with my moods, but with my weight, it's just really hard for me when I'm on birth control. So I asked him if that would be an option, and he was like, yeah, like you know, if we do some research, you know, we go to the doctor and we just figure it out. So I feel like maybe those are the next steps for me, but personally. Condoms have been working great for me right now. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing because I feel like, why is it always on the woman to take birth control? Why? I mean, yeah, and don't get me wrong, y'all. I use condoms, too. But, girl, stop fucking playing with I me. I did not say a word. People started using condoms three months ago when they think they're superior. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> but no, yeah, so I do be using condoms too. But like my main birth control though is using the app and just making sure that I'm tracking my ovulation because even we using condoms, I mean, things happen. Sometimes a condom can break. Sometimes it can come off. Sometimes it get taken off. <laughs> Sometimes it get taken off. You be like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this shit. All right. So go ahead to question three. Oh, I thought you got to read it. I just read that one, didn't I? No, I read it. Okay. Hey, ladies. I love y'all so much. I can't wait to turn up with y'all at one of the live shows. I've been dating this man for a year, and I think he's the one. Dick is bomb, and he really loves me. However, every time he gives me head, I have to think about other niggas giving me head to come. What should I do? P.S. He's great at it. If he's good at it, why are you... That, you need to control your mind. You know how your mind got little thoughts when you be driving on a bridge and be like, jump off! Right. That's your mind cutting up during fucking. You know how your mind just say crazy shit? I thought going to say he was trash. I know. That's what I was thinking. Because, girl, men are not good at giving head for the they most not, part. So if you find one, he a gremlin. <laughs> All right. So he is. it's the voice in your head that you need to control. You know that voice in your head I'm talking about? Like when you open the oven, touch it. Yeah. Yeah. Mom be saying some wild ass shit. Like what? I'll see like some bleach. Drink it. <laughs> you know the voice. In, the voice in your head cuts up. The voice in your head cuts up. You be in church and be like, "Scream, fuck you." <laughs> <laughs> the voice in your head be cutting up. So this, I really feel like it's the voice in your head just being stupid. It do. <laughs> you really, it do stuff. Y'all trying to act like I'm crazy, but y'all know what the fuck real, I'm talking you ain't about. Lying. You, you ain't be lying. like talking to somebody, punch him in the face. <laughs> You don't you do ever it. think that about me? Yes. <gasps> Push it right now. But you don't act <laughs> on it. It's not that you've done anything. It's just my voice telling yeah, you to do it. I know. It'd be like, punch her in the face. Just do it. <laughs> Some people's voice takes it too far and they actually do it. Yeah. So what I'm telling you is, it's really just, the, I really feel like Killer. it's the voice. Yeah, like. And now you're in prison. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> My voice don't take it that far. No, nah, but some people do, and they do. That's you what I'm saying. So it. I feel like it's really the voice in your head, like, because if he's doing a good job, the dick is bomb. He loves you, um, and you said he's great at it. It's really just you need to control your thoughts, mm -hmm. and you need to focus on him. Maybe look at him, focus on him, say his name. I feel like you don't love you don't love him because this is what you said. You said dick is bomb, and he really loves me. Maybe the most she said, however, right every time he gives me head, I have to think about other niggas giving me head to come. What should I do? Mm. You don't love this nigga. That's all you be thinking about other niggas. That's not necessarily true. That is sometimes, true. Sometimes you may love somebody, but you think about other niggas during sex because they're not doing a good every job. Every time I ever loved somebody, I was not thinking about other niggas. And she didn't say he's not doing a good job. She said he's great at it. Mm. Well, okay. So your point is defeated well no i was saying in other people's situations because sometimes when women do think about other men during sex they do love them but it's not good so in her but case she it's said different. it's good she did say it's good so sister it's the voices in your head and you don't love that nigga we don't say that we're not gonna say wow that. you feel like know. people know who she is nobody know who she is the ryan do <laughs> no he don't she sent it from the email he said okay dick Anyways, <laughs> question number four. Hey, y'all, I'm a Patreon member in a three-year relationship with a woman who is literally the best thing that has ever happened to me after these bullshit-ass niggas. I met her through my best friend of 10-plus years. We are in a serious relationship. We have met each other's families, friends, and we live together. I noticed that my best friend always has some slick shit to say regarding my relationship. She even has mentioned to a mutual friend that she didn't think our relationship would last this long. She cringes every time we kiss, hug, bring up, excuse me, ooh. You going in, then. <laughs> you going in. What? With the bird. I know, I'm trying to stop. <laughs> <laughs> she kisses every time we kiss, hug, you smell it. No, smell it. I hear it. Oh, I was about to say <laughs> Go ahead, man. She cringes every time we kiss, hug, bring up a marriage, etc. 
when we bring up marriage, she shifts the conversation and starts talking about her wedding. But sis is single. I mean, manifest, I guess. But the combo wasn't the time. I know you're probably thinking, maybe she doesn't like the gay stuff. But she was literally the one cheering us on when we were just sneaky links. She has another friend that is also in a relationship, but she brags about them and calls them goals while she tells me all their business, and they are definitely not. It's now getting to the point where people are pulling me aside and asking if we are still friends because they can see she is not genuinely happy for me. Not that I need my best friend's approval or praise, but it's like, why isn't she happy for me? I think we've talked about this a lot on the show. Um, she was praising y'all when y'all were sneaky links because a lot of times people want to see you doing well but not better than them. So before things get way too out of hand and y'all start hating each other, we always talk about the value of communication. Everything that you just said to us, you need to tell to her. Hey, every time I talk about getting married, you start talking about this. I feel like you're not happy for me. Why is that? Is this a one-sided thing? Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm not. But you know what? Don't even do that because that's gaslighting yourself, what we talked about in the past. Mm -hmm. Don't gaslight yourself. Stand in what you feel and talk to her about it and try to get to the bottom of it. And if this is your real friend, she's going to express to you maybe why she feels that way because I don't know, but maybe on her side, she feels like this woman took you away from her. She maybe feels like she's coming in between y'all's friendship. You never know. So I feel like everything you just said to us, say, hey, you cringe every time we kiss. Every time I talk about marriage, it's like, so I feel like you need to talk to her. You mm -hmm. do. Because honestly, that's what me, me and you went through this. Like, you felt like I was hating. How so? You felt like I was, like, being jealous of a situation. And we talked about it. And I was like, you know, we, we figured it out. Did we? <laughs> <laughs> You're annoying. <laughs> but no, no, we did, but you weren't jealous. Right, but you thought I was. But that's because we weren't getting along on some other shit. Yeah. So maybe underlying issues. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't I wasn't hating. I'm just like, damn it. You was just like, wait. Damn it, bitch, we got shit to do. So maybe... Okay, but that's different, though. Like, we're, I'm not trying to get into, like, the technicality. No, like, that's what every, I'm saying. All of the specifics of our, our situation. Right. But, like, me and you... It was underlying issues is what I'm saying. But we also have a business together. It's a different situation. We didn't then. It was just We did recording. have a business together. We was just recording. But we was trying to create a business. that You saw the potential of the business. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> so you... So you didn't want me to do certain things because you was like, bitch, no. We got we gotta get this money. I ain't trying to get no money. I gotta get I gotta find a way to get this money by tomorrow. She wasn't trying to get no money, right? She wasn't trying to get no money. <laughs> but no, what I'm saying is there might be underlying issues. That's what I'm saying. Like we had underlying issues. That's why mm -hmm. you thought I was jealous. There was underlying issues going on between us. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying for her, you need to talk to her and figure out the underlying issues. Cause it got to one point where me and Dre were just like, fuck this. What is going on with us and let's make it work? And I'm so glad we did that. Because look at us now. We have the when best. When we was done recording, I, I used to be looking at her like, bye. And I used to be like, bye. The fuck? You she, would be, she would be there for like 10 more minutes <laughs> trying to get water out the refrigerator. Bitch, why are you still here? Go get water at your house. I ain't have none. <laughs> I was tired of drinking sink water. I was getting Aquafina over that bitch. It was good. I don't drink Aquafina. Stop well, lying. I, well, whatever you was drinking, Dasani. <laughs> I definitely don't <laughs> drink Dasani. She, was, she mad. Damn, bitch. All I said, I just didn't want to drink sink water. Mm -hmm. Shit. I just wanted to get a little... There's people in, in other parts of the world that are happy with sink water. You well, think you above that? I, you ain't lived in my apartment <laughs> I was living in. <laughs> I was there. Okay. I didn't live there for a month, remember? Girl, you left the Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as that ink dried on my lease. Bitch, the lease wasn't even signed. I'm leaving tomorrow. <laughs> my lease is ready. I said, Dad, you just got here. Well, you can come see me. <laughs> Dre never came back to my apartment ever again. <laughs> That's all right, though. That's all right. You done moved on up, though. Exactly. Place is beautiful, honey. Period. All right.
So, y'all know we dropping dates soon. Make sure y'all stay tuned. If you are a Patreon member, make sure you join Patreon. We have exclusive content that we drop every week. You get to skip the line on the letters. And, um, yeah, the tour dates are dropping soon. We going everywhere, trust me. I know we already said some cities, but it's more cities that's been added than what we said. And we're about to get into this tune. You ready for the big tune? You ready for the big tune? Why are you saying tune? You are not tune. Nigerian. Says who? Me and, and your you ancestry. Be... No, they said it. They said cheese. Cheese. You said it. You said that it said cheese. Ghana. No, I said I would live in Ghana. No, oh, you. Oh, just... no, I did. I said um, I did my ancestry. <clears throat> no, your sister did. Yeah, she did. We got the same DNA. Right. So, what was it? Cameroon. Okay. Exactly. But I'm still Nigerian. I'm trans Nigerian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Cause you let me let me do what I want, man. Leave me alone. Okay, bro. Thank you. You ready? I'ma snap. You snap every I can episode. hear it. I can hear it in my head. You ready? You want me to start? Or you wanna start? Huh? Let me know. I would like to get to uh, know if I could be yeah, uh, kind of girl that you could be down for. Uh, Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me yeah, that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. And if I don't let you know, then I would be for real. I couldn't be wrong, but I feel Something could be going on. The more I see you, the more that it becomes so true. There ain't no other for me. Why do you used to do this in the video? I'm gonna be down. Well, what you going to They used to think they look so cold. Be, we do. <laughs> I want to be down with you. I want to be down with what you going to I just need a little jacket. I want to be down. Oh, I hit that. I know anybody's going to be lonely. Oh. Without the reason they got someone to care for. Same. If there's a fact, then I'll be mo- Wait. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> all you need to show up to cry. <laughs> if that's a fact, then I'll be more than you ever could dream of. <laughs> if all you need is my time that I got plenty of, I'll dedicate my love to only you, baby. Yeah. I want to stay by your side, be there to cool you out, and let you know everything will be alright. Wanna yeah. be down with what you're going through. Ooh. I wanna be down. I, I wanna, wanna be, be down with you, no matter the time. Or oh, day or night, it's true. I, I wanna be, be down. I wanna be a god to be down. I wanna be. Yeah. I got to be. Yeah. did that. First of all, let's give Brandy her flowers. Because Brandy had them hits that stuck like grits. I don't care what she nobody did. say. Brandy's harmonies are different. The runs be different. Because I could not do it. And can't. Thanks. I can't either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So make sure y'all stay tuned. We got so much good stuff coming up for y'all. Wait till this merch drop. The merch drop gonna be fire. These next couple of years, y'all gonna see, gonna be fire. If y'all wanna be down, I wanna be down with you. You wanna be down with the poor crew? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We got answer this. the Patreon. Answer the Patreon. They always supposed to say subscribe at the beginning. We suck. I wanna be down. That's how you know we're not no real YouTubers. We're not the real steppers. I am, or if I am a young Shana, then what do you call it? You're not a young Shana because you forgot to say subscribe to I just the YouTube. Said it. You're supposed to say it at the beginning. That's what the real YouTubers do. Make sure y'all subscribe to the YouTube. They're going to pay attention because they thought you said it for the people oh, that listen. You thought listening. everybody was going to laugh. Nobody I don't want laughs. nobody to laugh because I want y'all to subscribe. So 
I'm doing this for the listeners, the people that Nobody are Nobody laugh with Ryan. I don't want people to laugh. And that's on brand. I want... <laughs> I want people... That's why nobody else laughs. I want people, the listeners, because they don't... They never listen to me. I'm the stupid one. They're going to be like, oh, Drea said subscribe. And you didn't say it hard enough. So, that's what I was doing. You want to be down with the porker or Bro, not? Bro, you don't get <laughs> All you should want me to do is repeat that shit. Shit. Trying to tell and nobody laugh. Bitch, this ain't jokes, nigga. You want subscribers or not, boy, nigga? You ain't trying Girl, to get no money. You ain't get trying to get no money. my face. All right, we'll see y'all next week. Oh, my God. If I need a shot of the what do you call that? Fucking niggas house. Every time I hear that song, I think about cows. lying now. He was like this. <laughs> he was. Bye, y'all. Ryan ate that shit up. For any young shit.